Silvestro Greco is the head of the Environment Agency in the southern Italian region of Calabria. He knows the Mafia is in charge of the illegal disposal of toxic waste in Italy, but he's about to discover the depth to which they will go to make them disappear. He's inspecting underwater footage of what he believes is a shipwreck laden with 180 barrels of radioactive material, sunk deliberately by the Mafia off the coast of Calabria. The wreck is believed to be called Kansky and was sunk in 1992. Now covered in algae and rust, it wouldn't have been discovered if a mafia whistleblower hadn't shed light on its dark secret. The Kansky was officially dismantled in 1992, so it shouldn't even exist anymore. It should just be bits of metal, but we have found it almost intact. The ship is believed to be only one of many carrying radioactive waste still lying on the seabed off the coast of Italy. The mafia turncoat said that he had sunk two others, but Greco believes there will be many more. Even without taking into account other investigations that suggest more than 20 ships were sunk, the government must find these other two ships. It's a problem for us and for the whole international community. The Mediterranean Sea is 0.7% of the world sea. If in this tiny portion there are more than 30 shipwrecks containing toxic waste, imagine what they could be elsewhere. Investigators believe the Mafia turned to sinking the ships when the European Union introduced wider restrictions on toxic waste disposal. Rather than going through the expensive and lengthy process of waste disposal, they simply decided to make a swim with the fishes. Claudio Lavanga, Al Jazeera.